Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I want to give you a few tips on cleaning your Copic marker caps. It's going to be a really quick little video. Some people want to clean them for cosmetic purposes because this looks ugly and dirty. Generally, these are going to work fine even if they have a little bit of an issue with marker ink still sitting in the cap. It's always nice to have them look all beautiful, but unless you're having trouble with the ink splattering when you take the pen cap off or with your cap's not sealing well, it's usually not worth the time to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. You can use some rubbing alcohol in this one instance and use the 99% in, instead of using your colorless blender because the marker cap is all dirty on the inside. You can see how it might interfere with the seal. So if you have your markers drying out surprisingly a lot, then you might try cleaning even just that seal around the outside edge and cleaning that a little bit. But the 99% works better than the lower percentages. The lower ones just take a lot longer and it's gonna sit in there forever and you'll have to scrub a lot more to get the color out. I just put a little bit into a glass or a cup and throw in some caps. Now, I'm letting these sit in here on the video longer than you probably should. And I'll show you at the end why, because this 99% alcohol is super strong. It can actually wipe the ink off the side of your marker. That that printing ink can disappear entirely. That means it's pretty toxic stuff for your markers. So when you're doing this, you're only gonna clean the caps with it. Don't clean the marker bodies with it. Don't clean around the nibs with it because that could hurt your markers. Especially don't put any in your colorless blender marker. Don't think you're getting away cheap by doing that because the colorless blender fluid itself is different than this. But you can take the Q-tip shove it in there, clean it out a little bit. It's gonna get dirty again fairly quickly. That's just the nature of when you put your marker cap on, if you're not super careful and get it directly in that hole, that's just what's gonna happen. This is the first time in many, many years that I've cleaned my caps and it's never been really a problem other than they look gross. <laughs> I do clean the sides of the marker around the nib somewhat often because it looks kind of gross on my videos sometimes, but usually I only do it when it starts to bother me. I didn't put a little fluid on a paper towel and then just wipe off the ink from the marker and then put it back in. Now I said that you don't want to let these things soak in there for very long and I want to show you what happened to a couple of mine that sat in there too long. See the ones on the left, they look a little more scuffed than the ones on the right. That is from the 99% alcohol. So only leave them in there as long as you need to clean them. Kind of stir them around with something. I did mine with some jewelry tweezers so I could pull them back out without sticking my fingers in the alcohol. And there you go. There's a quick tip. There is a really great little graphic on my blog if you want to go and pin that so all your friends also know how to do this. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.